Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, DJ of Green Dynamics Line of Landscaping. Um, thank you for uh, tuning in and uh, uh, if you get a chance, go ahead and hit that like, uh, comment, subscribe, and share. I appreciate all of that. Uh, this is my first video. Uh, so the name, the name of my company is Green Dynamics Lawn, uh, Lawn and Landscaping. And uh, I just wanted to say, uh, this t the topic for today is uh, words of encouragement. I want to get, encourage you guys, you know, for all those guys that's looking to start their company. Uh, if you haven't st started right now, or doing something that's going to push towards you starting, uh, go ahead and start it. Don't, don't wait. Because you'll be one, one step closer towards success. So guys, uh, just to tell you a little bit about me and my background, uh, retired veteran. And um, so uh, I had uh, a small lawn business back in 2015. And then uh, when I found that I was going to get stationed at Fort Drum, I decided to uh, sell all my equipment. Fort Drum is up upstate New York at the... Uh, just at the Canada border and all, they get nothing but snow and that's what I thought so I sold I sold everything I sold the equipment and everything but I kept the uh, business name uh, so when I, I retired out of Fort Drum and I uh, came back uh, here to the Carolinas and uh, I said hey, I talked to my wife about it and prayed about it and I said you know what I want to go ahead and start a, a landscaping company and uh, I figured, you know, I'm going to start from the ground up, start uh, doing lawn care, and uh, then jump into landscaping. So uh, I've probably been back in business for about uh, three weeks now, as, as of the date of this video. And uh, I could tell you that uh, I've definitely learned a lot um, after making plenty of mistakes in the past when I originally had the company uh, up and going. Uh, but I'm starting. I'm starting over from scratch, guys. Look, do you see a trailer back there? <laughs> I'm starting over from scratch. So I use two push mowers. I got a uh, Husqvarna uh, 21 inch cut, no bagger, easy push, and I have a, um, a Walmart special Troy build with a bagger on it. So that's I use that. At, that's like my finishing uh, line and uh, get grass off the uh, lawns, make it look more presentable. And then I have a uh, edger, old trimmer. Um, my trimmer's upgraded to a. Uh, I took the old head off and put the uh, upgraded Echo uh, speed speed loader in there, along with the Black Diamond uh, trimmer line, and that stuff is awesome. Matter of fact, I just picked some more up today. Let me show you what I'm talking about this stuff here yep guys if you haven't tried this stuff I highly recommend uh, testing this out get like a small pack like this and test it out I guarantee you will not be disappointed but anyway um, uh, this journey it's gonna be a long journey but I'm looking forward towards the challenges uh, right now I'm sitting at four accounts uh, four small accounts that I have right now and uh, you know I have one customer actually I have two customers that's a daily um, that's seasonal customers right now they want to do seasonal work and so uh, I try to stick to weekly accounts. Um, Bi-weekly, originally when I was starting off, I had a lot of bi-weekly accounts. But in order to start a business, you really need to get the company off the ground. And I recommend you get in weekly accounts so you can build that revenue out. You build a revenue, put it right back into business. Don't spend the money, put it right back into business so the company can grow. And once you get up to 17, 20 accounts, and then... Uh, and depending on how you feel about it, you know, go ahead and move towards uh, maybe hiring another person so you can uh, increase your pro productivity and then go from there. Uh, some of the some of the resources that I use to help my hit me with my uh, 
business and administration work is a, a yard book, of course. Um, also have uh, some internal um, spreadsheets that I use on Microsoft Excel to help me uh, track my operating costs and uh, materials, supplies, stuff like that. Um, a lot of stuff can go in a uh, yard book as well, but I like to have uh, redundancy so I, I have those numbers on hand and know what my company is looking like. Uh, when I first started, I jumped in this thing, not worried about operating costs, just out there lowballing and, you know, get, finding any money I can get. But I wasn't covering my overhead. I wasn't covering my uh, paying myself and I wasn't covering uh, making profit for the company so it can sustain itself. Cash flow was an issue. But now, um, now I have a different mindset. Um, you know, and then I pray about this. Uh, I, I think about my operating costs. How much does it cost for me to go, say, seven miles, hit one, uh, knock out one property, then come back? And so, for instance, I know that this old Dodge Ram that I have is a two for me. But I know that for me to go out to seven miles and come back, it's a dollar and 33 cents operating costs and so that should be into your price that you're charging your customers and you take that everything that you have fuel equipment use um, trimmer line for your uh, trimmers blades for your edger what is your uh, operating costs every time you're out there on one property you should be factoring that factoring your pay and factoring um, uh, at least factor in two more employee pays because you're, you're what you're doing you're gonna you're thinking about the future so you need to go ahead and set your prices as if you already have two employees already not including yourself so that's three people uh, that you're factoring for so you can help build a company so um, Right now I'm in, uh, I'm going through, uh, as you can see my shirt, Sand Hills Community College Landscape Gardening. So I'm in the Landscape Gardening course right now, uh, for associate's degree. Uh, we're located, my company operates out of uh, North Carolina. And uh, I can tell you that the market is uh, unique. Uh, we have veterans, retired veterans. We have uh, 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 business owners. Uh, mid-level executives, high-level executives. We have uh, um, demographics of all. Demographics of all. So my, my business is tailored to um, different markets. It's not tailored just to high-level markets, so to say. I'm not targeting only uh, high income. I have a programs. I have programs that. Um, allow um, uh, per, per, uh, clients with low income to actually get the same quality product but in a different manner you know sometimes you might have to break things down in phases and then gradually you know uh, build those things up on their property so for instance landscaping you know not everybody can get a full-blown landscape design and installation right off the back. Some things have to be broken down in stages. But if you do it like that over time and gradually work it uh, over a couple of months, they can get the same uh, quality uh, end product. So, you know, I, those are the type of things I do. Uh, I also cut, um, I, have, I have a program where I um, cut deployed veterans uh, lawns for free uh, every year I would uh, choose one or two uh, veterans and uh, take care of their properties for free so they don't have to worry about anything that's less uh, stress off of them while they're deployed overseas uh, handling their business but yeah guys uh, but before I get off of here uh, I want to send a shout out to Brian's lawn maintenance some of the guys I watch on here on YouTube awesome channels uh, I want to send a shout out to uh, Blades of Grass out of Savannah, uh, B&B Lawn Care, 
uh, Stats Lawn Care. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, the Dirt Monkey. Yep, I, I watched the Dirt Monkey. I, I got you on uh, Instagram, man. Uh, I saw that hardscape you did about uh, a month ago or so. Nice hardscape finish you got there. Um, and, uh, hey, Brian, I, I, hey, man, I wish I had a trailer like yours. <laughs> That's a nice trailer you got. Nice trailer set up. But, uh, so, uh, some of the short-term goals I got from a company is to uh, uh, get my first, uh, well, my second trailer, but get my first trailer. And um, uh, I think I'm going to go with an open trailer because uh, I prefer to be have stuff really available. I can snatch and go and get off the trailer and then uh, also uh, get a machine. I'm looking at the... Uh, Stanley, it's going to be between the Stanley, the right Stanley uh, intensity, 42 inch cut, and uh, the grandstand. That, what's that, a Gravely? The Gravely uh, grandstand. So, right now, my property is uh, mid, small to medium size uh, yards. We're talking about 8,000 square feet to uh, 12,000 square feet. And yes, I pushed 12,000 square feet in no time. But, uh, you know, these are some of the things you you go through in building a company. It's not easy, and it's it's, it's not going to be easy. You have to work for this. But uh, I'm determined. I pray about it, and uh, I'm hoping we'll get there, guys. Until next time, you guys be safe, stay blessed. I see you guys next time.